Hey guys, it's me Jake from JakeMan21642 and I am so excited right now to bring you this really really quick little video. This is a 1992 Volvo 240 DL. This was just traded in here this week and we are actually going to retail it. So I'll try to get a full video tour once it's been through the shop and cleaned up. But I thought I'd grab a really quick one right now. Just because I think this is only the second 240 we've traded in the entire time I've been here. And these are one of my all-time favorite cars. And this thing is just so cool. I just took it for a really quick little drive, and everything about it's perfect. Um, as you can see, it's in great shape. It's kind of dirty right now. I think it was honestly just owned by someone who would park on the street, or maybe didn't have a garage, because it's just dusty. But otherwise, it's in excellent condition. It has these really nice uh, Michelin tires on it which are in great shape, and you can see the uh, classic 240 hubcaps. This one does have all four. And you can see one of my favorite parts are those headrests. I mean, this is just one cool car I would love to have. So we'll go ahead, step inside and start it up. As you can see, it does come with the original Volvo key. Not even filming this with my camera. I just wanted to grab it uh, with my Galaxy S6, as you can see. Go ahead and step in. Now, it does have power locks, and when you unlock it, this is one of my favorite parts because I've owned many cars that don't have keyless entry. When you lock it, they all lock. When you unlock it, they all lock. Inside, this one does have kind of a gray exterior. I'm not sure the exact color name, and it does have a gray cloth interior, which honestly on these, the cloth always holds up better than the leather. As you can see, it's dirty inside, but it's in perfect condition. Go ahead and start it up. As you can see, it does say it has 3,771 miles, but it actually has, there's the disclaimer in here, it actually has about 126,000 miles, I believe, because the uh, speedometer has been replaced. Very common on these. They just go out, they stop working, so... It has been replaced in this one. At least it was someone who actually brought it in to have it replaced instead of just letting it go. Anyway, we'll start it up. You can hear that classic Volvo door chime. And it starts up perfect. As you can hear, go ahead and close the door. And as you can see over here, this one does include all of the original owner's literature right there and inside of there. And you can see how nice and simple cars used to be. That's everything you need right there. Go ahead and put that back. It does even have the original book. Inside of the glove box, you can see it's lit. The air conditioning in this car, ice cold. This, I got in here and this car had been sitting for a few days. The air conditioning was ice cold. As you can see, you do have power windows, power locks, all of that inside of here. You do have your door handle. Speakers, actually, surprisingly, none of the speakers are blown. This one's just missing its cover, which I believe is actually somewhere in the car, but it actually has a pretty good stereo in it. Um, you do have your padded armrest, of course, your cloth on the door. I mean, it's an old 90s car, so everything inside is soft touch material. Down here, you do have some storage. Over here, your headlight controls, fog lights. You do have a gauge dimmer up here. You can see in the center, very nice and simple. You get a clock and a speedometer, and that's all. In the center, the old owner did put in this in here, the Volvo High Mileage Club badge. I love that. This one does have the original tape deck right here. And as I mentioned, you gotta wait for the power antenna to go up. And on the beach, this is the beach. An iHeart radio station. But it does work. As I mentioned, it is a cassette player. You do have your uh, bass and treble over here. And of course, when I got in this car, it was on NPR. Um, air vents down here, you have a cigarette lighter, as well as your defrost, hazards, air conditioning, all of your controls down here. More storage. This one does have the automatic transmission. And as I mentioned, everything about it is perfect. You have your brake and some more storage back here. Seats, perfect shape, comfortable. I guess I won't really make this a full tour, just give you a little quick walk around. You have manual mirrors, of course, in this one. And down here, the hood. You 
back here. You can see excellent amount of space in this vehicle. You do have an armrest in the center. And the seats are the same overstuffed seats as up front. You have your uh, headrest back here, which these are actually, I always thought these were plastic, but they're actually rubberized and very comfortable. The trunk of this car, I don't know if you have to have the key. Nope. This car actually has a huge trunk. And as you can see, stays right up as well. But you have an amazing amount of space back here. Just sound editing material underneath the vat. Spare tires over here, jack, everything. And as you can see, it still has most of the original stickers and everything else back here. Fuel cap on this side and inside of here. As you can see, you can get your tiny, tiny little speakers back here as well. And you can just hear the doors on this thing. They're like tank doors. More storage. And inside of here, as I mentioned, does come with everything. You have a cup holder as well. It's a little vanity mirror. And coming up underneath the hood of this one, as you can see, it does have, I believe, the 2.4 liter four cylinder. I'm not sure exactly. I know it's either a 2.4 or 2.2. I should probably know that, but I don't. But as you can see, it even has an OEM Volvo battery under here. It's so clean. Over here, as you can see, there was a transmission service done, 113,000 miles. Cooling system, 105. Sure, the timing belt has been replaced, but I don't see anything about it. And then it has been retrofitted to R134A at this dealership. You have more specifications over here. It's just such a clean, neat little vehicle. You just don't see these every day. And lucky enough, this car has lived its entire life in Virginia, so it is pretty much rust-free. Go ahead, step back inside. The driver's side window back up. And like I said, I'll try to get a full tour of the vehicle. Um, we are going to retail it. It will be running through the shop on Monday, but I just don't know when I'll be able to get a video of it. So I thought I'd get this now before I leave because this is just such a cool car. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and subscribe for more. And hopefully one day you'll see one of these in my driveway.